It's easy fit 165 installation. The customer wanted the option to control one of his speeds from his third party controller. Uh, We're going to show you how to wire the motor to the controller to accomplish this. So the first thing you would do is install a jumper into this green block in the terminal that says ICOM. So you press down on the tab with this flathead screwdriver, insert your wire, and then let go and the wire will hold in. The other end of your jumper will be installed into this RS-485 block on the terminal that says COMM or COM. And tighten that down. Next, the cable running to the third party controller, you'll have one wire put, spliced into the plus 12 volt terminal on the RS-485 block. and the other wire will be spliced in on whichever speed the customer wants to control. So you have step one, step two, step three, and override available on your green block. In this case, we're going to use override. You push the tab down with your screwdriver, insert your wire, that's it. And the last thing you do is make sure you turn on dip switch number one on the red block.